Once we get the inspection reports back from the, the inspector, then we will take a look at what's listed in the report to determine if we should ask for any concessions or repairs from the seller. A lot of it, quite honestly, depends on where we are in the market. Over the last couple years, it's been really hard to ask for repairs because sellers know that there's such a demand out there. Um, there is, however, this misconception, in my opinion, on selling your house as is. A lot of people think, well, I can sell it as is and you just have to take what you get. Uh, if you can't insure the house, then it's really hard to sell. So um, the last couple years, we've really focused on if we get a clear four point, um, then we're probably not going to ask for any repairs or concessions. Um, as the market continues to shift, that opportunity is out there, I think, to be doing a little bit more negotiation. There's a couple different ways to address any issues that are brought up in an inspection report. Um, if it is a four point issue, most of the time those need to be cleared up before the closing can take place because a, an insurance company is not going to issue that homeowner's policy until the four point is cleared. There are some cases where you can do those repairs within 30 to 60 days after closing. Um, so I prefer to ask for a seller concession rather than a price reduction, um, because that's gonna impact the cash that you have to close um, and give you a little bit more uh, wiggle room there instead of just maybe only insignificantly reducing your mortgage payment.